uh, doing a little uh, DIY today, or MYOG, <laughs> whichever acronym you want to use. I'm making a uh, a sill nylon stuff sack. I ordered a couple yards of fabric from Ripstop by the Roll. Um, I got one yard of this uh, kind of, I don't know, uh, it's like a fruity green, I don't know. And then I got a, a yard of olive green. It's 58 inches wide by, actually they gave me a couple extra inches. It's about 38 inches. So um, what I'm doing today is um, making a stuff sack for my uh, ever new uh, what, uh, 0.9 uh, or 900 milliliter uh, pot. Um, so as you can see, we got, I was shooting for a 6x6 bag. I think I might have overshot a little bit, but. Anyways, I'm using uh, the uh, through hiker. Uh, this is not going to be my cord, but uh, I'm using the through hiker instructions here. So, the first set of uh, I cut a 16 by 16 piece and folded it in half with the silicone part facing me. So I put the out the two outside sides together, and I ran a seam along the side and along the bottom. And the next step is to uh, measure the bottom or to, to uh, stitch the bottom, but first we're going to spread it out like so, kind of split it and pull it apart and get, your, uh, get yourself a, a triangle here, because what we're going to do is put a couple stitches across here to form the bottom of the bag to make it, you know, make it kind of a squarish, roundish bottom. So and the way you do that is you measure. So we've got about almost eight inches. Let's say, well, yeah, let's call it eight just for the sake of we need to divide it in fourths. So what we're going to do is come in about an inch and three quarter from each side. So there's an inch. And I don't have a fabric pencil, so we're using a marker. But this is the inside of the bag, so it's all good. There's an inch and three quarters right there. And then same over here. I'm going to do an inch and three quarters. There we go. And that's where we'll run a stitch along there, which actually we're going to do right now. So, and then I'll... Turn it inside out and show you. Hopefully I won't screw this up now that I'm being filmed. I just got this sewing machine. This was uh, $79.99 at Walmart. It's a brother. It's uh, nothing fancy, but it's so far so good. It's working pretty well. I like it. Actually, let's... There we go. Did that kind of slow because I'm trying to be super careful. But then you uh, pull it out and we'll do some, some snip. And oh, looks like we got a little. There we go. Snip that off. And then do the other side real quick. And we'll see what we got. Threads are back. And gonna go in as such. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I want to make sure it's flat. There we go. Okay, there we go, not too bad, snip, and snip, and now, see if this worked, I believe we should be able to put this like 
so. And if you'll notice, the uh, I don't know if you can see down in there, but the uh, the where we stitched. There we go. Is uh, folded. If you hold it up to the light, you might be able to see it. Uh, maybe not. But anyways, the triangles are laying down toward each other inside there, and they meet in the middle. So, and we end up with a, you know, a square bottom. So, I don't know. You'll have to see me make a mistake on camera here and see if it fits. It may not. It looks a little small. But I measured. Oh, I don't know if this one's going to fit. <laughs> Nope. Dang on it. It's too small. Okay. Shoot. Well, we'll put something else in this one. We'll put something else in this one. But So the next thing we're going to do is do the, you know, make a drawstring at the top. And I'll just make this a long skinny one. I've got enough fabric to make seven or eight of them probably. You know, at least four or five. So, but, so we're on our way. We'll uh, try to show you the rest when I get to a further step. Okay, um, the uh, next thing we did is uh, I pulled this seam out a little bit and, and uh, freed up, you know, this much fabric and folded it over and there's a little hem inside of here going vertically on both sides. And then I folded that over and this was kind of difficult, but I, I basically just... I moved this, I took this off so you could access, this is called the free arm. So, and I just, uh, you know, did this and went around and put a seam, uh, all uh, <coughs> a single stitch all the way around, creating <coughs> a uh, channel for the, uh, for the string. So, and then I tried to do a little reinforcing right here, you know, so this doesn't come apart. I don't know if I did a very good job. It doesn't look very good. But hopefully when I turn it inside out, it'll look a little better. So, also, where we made our stitches last time, uh, I read the instructions and it told me to cut, cut those off so that you end up with your nice, you know, flat bottom. So now, here we go. Turn her inside out. And there's the bottom, nicely stitched. That looks really good, actually, I think. There's the side. And then here is the top. Doesn't look too bad. That actually looks okay, too. All right, so now all we got to do is I have a bunch of this not-quite-paracord that I, I got real cheap. And it turns out it's a kind of a cool color to match this. So I, I just cut a... Uh, I just went like this. One, two three and a couple of inches and then melted the ends and then this stuff is so easy to work with it's still nylon I can almost just put this in there with the stiffness of the of the rope at least I can do half of it and then you can just do like that and then we are almost there. Oh, there we are. We are there. There it is. Boom. So now, I need to pick up some more cord locks. I think I have one or two upstairs, but I have enough fabric to make several more stuff sacks, and um, I need to make one for my quilt. I don't even know what I'm going to put in this. This is my very first one. So, there you go. Boom. Stuff sack. And I think that'll, that'll last for a good while. I may need to figure out how to... Uh, Reinforce right there better as you can see there's some snip offs there, but I think it came out okay for my very first time using a sewing machine ever <laughs> so But put a cord lock on her and there we go stuff sack number one